All right, go ahead and hit record. Oh, I'm nervous. I feel like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> well, the beauty of this is no one can see us yet. And Bree's yes. right down the road, so we can always redo this if we have to. Oh, true. very true. good. <laughs> so one of the things that we haven't even like figured out yet is what we're going to name the the podcast because we're going to do like it's going to be like a podcast where like we set it up and people can like listen to it like on their way to work and everything and christina had a great idea and it was called between the sheets oh, i think it's good right. stuff i like that a i lot. think it's good stuff and then we found out it was already taken <laughs> Well, you could do between the sheets with Mark and Christina. See, and that was my original idea was between the sheets with the Boutons. Ooh. Or Boutons between the sheets. Maybe. I don't know. There's something there. There's something there. We just have yeah. to just find have to it. figure it out. Well, those jerks who took your name first. I know, right? And that's what happens all the time now. It's like you try to do something new and original. like you just you just Google it and you're like, oh, that's already a thing. <laughs> Well, there goes my idea. <laughs> and theirs isn't even, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say theirs isn't even good, but I haven't listened to it. But apparently, <laughs> it's about wrestling. Yeah, that, my same face. Between I mean, the same sheets? Face. No. Wrestling, I mean, I kind of see, now that I'm, like, thinking about it. I still don't wrestling. see it. Wrestling. Wink, wink. I mean, if we're, yeah, but no. But it's, like, about <laughs> professional wrestling, so. Yeah, is it, like, WWE? I don't know. I've never listened to it. I think it. it's, like, WWE <laughs> between the sheets. That's not, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's not, so, yeah, we so we still got to figure out a name. Them. What should we call it, though? What do you think? I've already given you an idea. What do you think, Bree? What should we call I'm, it? I really like, I don't know. I mean, between the sheets, for sure, but. I think we need to do between really... the sheets. It might be worth a lawsuit. You work in that field. Is it worth the lawsuit? Well, is it copyrighted, though? Like, Ooh. do they actually have claims to it? See? I don't know. <laughs> How do you we, find that out? This is why we need a Brie in our corner. <laughs> Brie could be the business lawyer. Yes. We'll just call him, like, Brie. New podcast name. <laughs> How much trouble can we get in? Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> So we were, so I was talk, or thinking about, as you can see, I have a bunch of notes for, for the podcast, but one of the things, like, we, how did we meet? Because it wasn't the Body Love Project that we did, right? No, we met when Christina and I worked at the tavern together. That's right. That's right. We were working there, and she said, wow, look at these half-naked pictures my husband took of me. This is what he does for oh. a living. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? And I was like, wow, you look really good. Oh, by the way, this is how you pour a beer. <laughs> you know, like, didn't know that was part of your uh, your training, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was like when we, I think that we had like just started pretty recently whenever, because mm -hmm. you were definitely like one of our first clients. In fact, um, we still use your pictures to like show clients like what to bring because like everything that you brought was like so good, so classy. So, you know, we do like a video chat with our clients to go over like all the details of the shoot and go like outfit ideas and all that. Mm -hmm. And, um, and You're I, a like, guideline. In the, uh, yeah. Guideline. <laughs> <laughs> You're a definite guideline. Um, but as far as the the first shoot goes, because you've done how many? You've done So I've done several. the big boudoir one. Then yeah. I did the Christmas, Valentine's Day. You did the bike. The bike, mm. another Christmas. And that might be it. Mm-hmm. Five. I think that might be our record for. I think we've had. And then I have another one in September. We have another one in September, oh, which snap. we gotta we gotta talk about. I know we gotta get going. Yeah. What do you want to do for that? Because we. Sh I mean, because you haven't been in this studio for the full shoot. We mm -hmm. did the bike, the bike, bike, and the Christmas, and the Christmas. That's right. Mm -hmm. So like we haven't done like the wings yet. We, we haven't did done the wings. The we shots. did the wings. You. Oh, that's she right. was that's our right. guinea pig for wings. That's right. Ha cha Look cha cha. Bree's the guinea pig. Ha cha cha. Um, so yeah, we could do more wings. We have. Um, oh, man, I still need to send those pictures to the. Uh, we did a shoot for Christina for her like Boston, like after Boston stuff, oh. and um, we did like this plain like. So we did like a like a plain white wall. I think like like Sports Illustrated okay. like Nike shoot something like that. And um, it looked really, really good. And then we did a uh, shoot with that with uh, a, new, a different client. 
who came in and did another shoot with us and we did like the wings and then we did like a Jennifer Lopez like inspired yeah. shoot with like Dolce and Gabbana like wow. like look yeah it was really really cool so we could do something like that I think mm -hmm. um you know just to kind of shake it up um I don't know what do you have in mind what do you want to try? I don't know. We're for sure going to celebrate the dang divorce in this. That's for sure. <laughs> that would be really fun. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Um, well, we'll have to, like I said, we'll definitely do like a video chat. We got to, yeah, we got to get started because September's going to be here like. Mm -hmm. Three months. In, yeah. Three months. We're like three yeah. months. I was going to say, it's June. Away. I was going to say like not even. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh it's, gosh. my shoot's scheduled for the 12th or something like that. It's yeah. the weekend before my birthday. Right. So we'll add that. To the list of things that we'll celebrate at the shoot. Yeah, we can do birthday too. <gasps> what if we got like some, some like big balloons, like with the. Uh, we, have a pen. <laughs> we do. I have a Good pen. thing we're recording. Ah! Oh. <laughs> we don't even have. I wish this like is my the best whole idea ever. <laughs> Podcast for the win. <laughs> I wish my whole life was recorded, and then I didn't, would never forget anything. You just go back through your recording and be like, oh yeah, I was supposed to go get my groceries today. Oh well. <laughs> After listening for six hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My grocery pickup was scheduled. But yeah, like those big, like the uh, the number balloons. Ooh, yeah, might be fun. And a crown. That's what mm -hmm. I was thinking. Do a crown. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll definitely talk about it. So the the first shoot. Um, it, so thinking back all the way back then, what was what was like the reason that you like wanted to book a shoot? Was it just Christina like showing you the pictures or like that looks like fun or like tell me? Yeah, any... I think it was a little bit of all of that. Well, I mean, I'd always been curious to do one. And then Christina was like, look, it's so much fun. I love it so much. And her pictures were awesome. Um, I was like, hmm. I want some of my bed. I know. I was like, hmm. I think I really need to do one. But I think that um, once people like see other people doing it, do they like they know? Because mm -hmm. I think when you see like pictures just like online of somebody else doing it that you don't know, it's kind of like, oh, well, maybe, you know, I feel like yeah. it's a little bit further away, it's like out of reach. But when yeah. you see like your friend doing it, you're like, I could do that. Oh, Let's, 100%. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, 100%. And I think too, like once somebody actually meets you guys and they like, realize that you guys are super chill and everything's going to be fun and it's not going to be like super serious or judgmental and Mark's getting down on the ground oh doing gosh, the poses <laughs> and I mean it's one of those things where it's not just wow I have these awesome pictures up on my wall it's a whole experience I mean honestly it's kind of like getting a tattoo you just keep getting them that's why I have five shoots down <laughs> and we're planning more I like that comparison yeah have you got any new tattoos since your last shoot Mm, mm, mm. You've seen this one, right? I Maybe. think I've seen that one, yeah. yeah. I Maybe. think so. I think it that looks... one was there. Yeah, it was. Because I got this the Friday... It was like Friday 13, 2020. Oh, like okay. I think I do remember talking about that. Yeah, but... Yeah, I haven't really gotten any new ones. Where'd the you get that one, one done at? Uh, Beauty Marks. It looks really good. Jacob did a really good job. It Jacob's really, done, really like, all of my tattoos. He did my five-piece, this one my ankles he's done really good yeah so he just moved to i don't even know what shop it is now hmm. but there's I, one that just opened like two doors down oh yeah oh yeah kiss of ink yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he has good line work does he yeah so my friend got a few like tiny little tattoos from him and her line works pretty good mm. so yeah we have it i've been itching to get a, a tattoo me too i've already told you what i want Remind me. <laughs> Actually, tell Bree. Yeah, tell Bree. Tell her all about it's like, it. It's like super for the podcast. cheesy for the podcast. Well, it's about running. It's not even about being between the sheets. Ha cha cha cha. Stick that in there as much as possible. Um, so I want like a unicorn in like full gallop, and then out of like the hooves that will be like six stars. Because um, I want to run the six world major marathons. Okay. So I want one. My birthday's in July. It might happen. That might be a good birthday <laughs> present. That would be a good birthday present. Yeah. 
We thought about giving away um, in our group, like the top contributor contest, mm -hmm. doing like tattoo gift cards too. Oh. And so just kind of like mix it up. And so we changed it up. I don't know if you saw, but we changed it up from doing like the Kate Spade wallet. Mm -hmm. to now, if you're in the top 10, you get a $5 gift card to Starbucks and you okay. get something for, yeah. you know, and then the winner of that will have their choice between a Kate Spade wallet or a $50 Amazon gift card. So just to kind of okay. shake it up, but we might throw a, maybe a gift card to your favorite tattoo artist too. Hmm. It might be, might be worth it. But anyways, so going back to your first shoot, um, tell me a little bit about like the work up to the photo shoot because was that your first like boudoir shoot? Yes. It yeah, was. it was. So I was nervous as hell to be completely <laughs> honest. Um, and it was kind of like, so I am super over analytical. I mm -hmm. overthink everything. So here I'm like, okay, I need 15 trillion different outfits. Mm -hmm. I need 15 trillion different shoes. And then I get in there and it's no, like we s switch things up, like different shoes, different outfits, different jewelry to make it a little bit different, but it's really not like, I put way too much pressure on myself for what was actually coming of it. But, and then, you know, hair, nails, had to make sure my hair was dyed and my nails were done. And Yeah. And I think too, that a lot of our clients do kind of get worried about that. Like whenever they first book, mm -hmm. they're like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start, mm -hmm. you know? And I don't know if we did this because we were so early with our business when, when you did your shoot. Um, but now we send out like a ton of emails that go over like all of the details and go over, um, we send out like a styling guide that goes over like yeah. outfit ideas and like all of that stuff to kind of help. So, um, which by the way, we got to start sending. I don't think we like actually ever sent like the contract over to you and everything for the shoot. So I'll do that. I think and you did send a contract. Did I? Maybe. maybe. I don't know. But yeah, we need to we'll, check. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. But at least you know what to expect this time too. And so, yeah. 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 I think it's human nature to overpack because we still have people who come in and they're like, I brought a lot. And they have like suitcases mm -hmm. and they're like, whoopsies. <laughs> So leading up, so you said that you were like really nervous for the photo shoot, but you know, once you got there, you said it was a little bit mm -hmm. easier. What was something that you wish that you would have done leading up to the shoot that you didn't do? Mm, probably ask you a lot more questions. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I like went into it thinking it was going to be like this very like cut and dry like, this is what you got to do. This is how you got to do it. And not more of like, this is fun. This is enjoyable. So now like when I come and I do the minis and then the second shoot, I already know what's going to happen. So I'm like, right. okay, I'm just going to bring my outfits. Mark and Christina are going to tell me what to do. Christina's going to have me laughing 10 trillion <laughs> times. I mean, so I also do think that this like podcast thing will be a good idea though. And like showing the videos of behind the scenes, because I think that's going to take pressure off of people to mm -hmm. be like, oh, it's really not intense. It's fun. If mistakes happen, it's fine. You know, we're going to laugh about it. Or if I fall, no big deal or whatever. I literally like, have been a shoulder to lean on recently. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, it's fine if you can't walk in heels. I can't walk in heels. It's cool. I'll stand right here if you need me. Marco just photoshopped me out. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, not everybody's a heel walker, we found out. Yeah. And I guess I never, um, as a man, before we started doing this, you know, I've never worn heels before, too. But, like, in the movies, you always see, like, it's like the comical thing. Like, someone wears heels for the first time, and they're walking Oh, and they like look crazy. like a baby giraffe. Yeah. It's, like, it's a real thing. There's, <laughs> real it's, thing. The heels are not really easy. And especially, yeah. you know, because you can't wear a, a short heel to the photo shoot, because then it's going to look weird. Mm -hmm. So you really have to wear, and that's why I always tell clients, like, you if it looks difficult to walk in, that's like, that's the shoe that that's you want to bring one. to your shoe. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so going back to your first pictures, tell me, do you remember what it felt like seeing everything for the first time? I was in shock. I was mm. in awe. I was like, that's me. Are you sure that's me? And then you don't like Photoshop crazy. Like you don't like do all these crazy edits. And so it's like, even with like, minor blemishes like scars or bruises it's like that's the kind of stuff that you appreciate more because you're like dang I might have this giant scar on my mm. butt from a surgery but like I'm still looking really good like I really love how I look and I think I really appreciate that about your editing skills too is it's now I appreciate the small things that I've always hated about myself because they're there and I love the picture I love how I look and my scar in it I love it now too and that was from the Valentine's Day, was mm -hmm, that right? Mm -hmm. And so do you want to open up a little bit about like 
what that scar was and yeah. maybe... Yeah, so um, I have Fowler syndrome, which is where your brain and your bladder don't communicate properly. Um, and so my bladder just did whatever it wanted, whenever it wanted. Sometimes I would be in retention where I couldn't urinate at all. And sometimes I just couldn't control when I urinated. Um, so I went in September of 2020 and they put a pacemaker in to help control my bladder, but it's in my butt cheek. Um, but that was like a big deal to me because you can see it. It's a pretty big scar. Um, but to me, I mean, before that I was wearing like adult diapers and stuff like that. So it's been like a very hard time and it like really beat my self esteem down that I was 24, 25 wearing adult diapers and adult diapers aren't cute at all. Mm -hmm. Like they're not attractive. There's no way you can feel, even the ones that are like feel sexy in these, they're nude with a dang little black bow tie on and you're not <laughs> going to feel sexy in them. Um, so then when I brought up the idea of doing, hey, can we like do a picture where we focus on my scar? And you guys were like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do it. Like, we love this. And then now I see those pictures. Those are the ones that are up in my bedroom. Like, yeah. I absolutely love those ones. And I love my scar. I show everybody my scar now. I'm like, hey, you guys want to see my butt scar? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, if we've, we have clients every now and then. We've had a client who, um, you know, just had a baby and, you know, had like stretch marks mm -hmm. on her tummy and wanted to show those off. And... Um, you know, we've had clients come in, we had, um, one with like a tube on her side. I can't remember what the reason was, but, yeah. um, you know, just being able to see how good you look, like you said, mm -hmm. how good you look, even with those things that may have been tearing you up inside a little bit. Um, it really is cool. And that makes me so happy to hear that's like one of your favorite pictures oh, too. Oh yeah, I love those ones. The Valentine's Day yeah. pictures are super, super pretty yeah. too. Yeah. Let yeah. me help him out real quick. Otherwise it's going to be game over. <laughs> literally. <laughs> God, I'm on a roll. <laughs> All these puns. <laughs> like sweating. Yeah, it's warm in here. I need to ask him what this drawing is. I'm very intrigued by it. Yeah. I, f I was kind of wondering. <laughs> and maybe this one. <laughs> I feel like they're garden plans. He's a gardening man recently. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have questions about your doodles. <laughs> Let me make sure this is still recording too. Oh, yeah. Everything is going smoothly. Oh my gosh! Why he just would ruined you it. You say I knocked on the wood. It, it doesn't is. matter. It, you've just. Yeah, this is our. This is like all dirt where all of our chickens are, and I want to mm. like put gravel here to help keep dirt out. So I'm going to take all that gravel from back over here on our house and move it over here. Love it. I love that idea. Yeah. Anyways, what's this one? This is the one I'm more I'm more concerned about. It's a little foul, right? It's a little interesting. I think I meant like a path, and then oh, and this is the tree, and this the is tree. the gas tank. Oh, okay, I'm starting to understand more now. I, it was step by step. I had to get better at it with every time. So can't wait to see the next one. <laughs> I was saying maybe we should include labels next time, like tree. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah, I think you need to see a doctor. <laughs> like, this is not where it's supposed to be. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I was very concerned. I, I wish I had like a zoom camera. I could zoom in and be like, this is the, the pathway. Anyways. <laughs> pathway. Yeah, the pathway. Sure. Um, so for, you know, talking about posing, um, was that something that you were concerned about with your first shoot? Like yes. not knowing how to pose? Yeah. How did that go? Um, so going into it, I was super nervous, um, cause I obviously had no idea what I was doing and it looks super easy when you're looking at pictures. You're like, oh, I can a hundred percent do that. You know, easy. Well, then you put the heels on mm -hmm. and then you're in lingerie and then you're <laughs> in lingerie in front of people you don't really know. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh. But then Mark and Christina, you guys are like getting on the floor. You guys are helping move my hair. You're like adjusting the sheets. You're like helping fix my, well, Christina's helping fix my outfit. <laughs> um, and it just makes it a lot more comfortable to be in that kind of environment. So. Were you sore? Yes. Do you remember? Not like sore, like 
I'm never doing that again. Yeah. But you can definitely feel it the next day. Yeah. Like you're doing stretches and stuff that you're not. And then it's not just get in this position. It's get in this position and hold it. Okay, Ooh. keep holding. My okay, favorite. keep holding. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite when Mark's like, all right, now, now stay right there in your six inch heels. Now, where's my camera? <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta change hold my on lens. Hold on a second, now I have to change my lens. You're doing great, you just stay right there. I'll be with you in a second. As you're on one foot with your hand above your head. <laughs> and you're twisted like this. And I look back over my shoulder, I'm like, uh, chin up, please. Like, Smile! Look down at the peasants. <laughs> you know? Yes, yes. Um, so, how is finding outfits? You know, because I know that we kind of talked a little bit about this, but. I know that you kind of like over like mm -hmm. bought and everything, but did you have a hard time finding things that you liked or that fit or um, places that like had good stuff? Like how did that go? Um, so when I did mine, they had, and I cannot remember the name to save my life, but the one, the little store next to Paris Island. Yeah. Oh, um, that place Paris was a C. I think so. Cora, it's um, no. Something and co. Yeah. Um, but they were open. So I was able to just walk in there and I picked out a few outfits that I really liked. Oh, cool. Um, Victoria's Secret was another one. Yeah. Um, and then I think I may have got one or two off of Adam and Eve, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't too hard to find things that I liked or things that fit. There were definitely, I mean, it got a little discouraging when I would find an outfit that I really, really loved and that I knew would look great on me and then it didn't fit. And I'm like, oh, mm. yeah. But, I mean, I got pretty lucky. And it was nice we had some place in town. Yeah. We don't really have that now. Yeah. Yeah. There's I, our next business idea. No, there we don't go. need any more businesses. <laughs> we're, we're good on businesses. We have, we have enough. Our next business should be <laughs> sleep. <laughs> yes. You know, so we're on TikTok now, right? I heard. And <laughs> <laughs> we're very trendy. I wonder who told you that. Um, so we, uh, I, I've noticed people will just sleep on TikTok live and they'll hook up like a system to where if somebody pays like a like to buy a coin and give them like a coin because you can get like paid that way okay. but they'll like pay like five dollars and then make like an alarm go off like in your in your room and then you could have like a, another setup to where like the lights turn on and then you have like confetti and I'm just like so this person is sleeping here and then they're just being interrupted for sleep for money so that's a great full-time job I think no. you could do it no, just, I value a, a solid consecutive eight hours. But if that was your only source of income, I would make it work. I'd be like, I don't have to work eight to five. How much money would it take for you to, to buy or do that job? I just like to sleep. $100 <laughs> a day? That is not worth it. $300 a day? I would do it for $300. $300 a day? <laughs> I would absolutely do it. I would sell feet pics too. <laughs> we, we've talked about this so many times. There is a niche out there for marathoners' feet. I know it. There has to be. I Somebody right. wants to look at my black toenails that are falling off. This is getting edited out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a great thing that your husband does what he does for a living. Wow. Third cut business. Up, but I already told you, your face has to be in them. They want your face in them. Oh, it's just yeah. that's See, that's not yeah. worth it to me. Neither is getting woken up. Uh, <laughs> that was Unless it's three hundred dollars. I think that we could Photoshop someone else's face on. Or what if I just Photoshopped your face just to look like just a completely not different you. person? Your face. <laughs> <laughs> that man has really nice feet. <laughs> Very dainty. I don't know why that one cracked me up so much. I'm sorry. I need to go home. We need to reevaluate. <laughs> the podcast is one episode and that's it. You know, I bet there's a market Ooh. for it though. That's too much people do for it. me. So back to your pictures. <laughs> um, do you want feet pictures? Do you? <laughs> yeah, go Sold. On. <laughs> At your next shoot? Oh that should God. be an add-on. Oh, an add-on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Do you still look at your pictures? Yes. You do? I actually looked at them the other day. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Um, well, I have the big 
album that the one album comes in, like the big right. box thing. Um, and I have it on my TV stand. And I was like, you know what? I haven't looked at these in a while. And I went through all of them. I went through mm. the big one. I went through um, all the three minis. And then I have both medals up on the wall. And I have um, the curved Valentine's Day ones on the TV stand. I have a curved Christmas one on the key rack in the dining room, just so y'all are aware. So right there, as soon as you walk in the house, there's me with the coffee cup. Um, yeah, so I have them all over the room, and I was like, hmm. The album Let just looks different sometimes. It like, does. It's nice to, like, feel it yeah. and look through it. Yeah. Do you... Um do you feel like maybe differently looking at those pictures now? Because it's been it's been a couple of years now since mm-hmm. that that photo shoot, and obviously I know that you said that you know you felt amazing seeing them for the first time. But now that you've seen them, like how do you? What do those pictures mean to you now? Well, I mean, I'm super excited that I did it for one. Still, like I'm still like wow, like this is me. Um, but as we talked about, I've gone through a lot of life changes since then, and right. so I'm kind of like it's kind of crazy. Also, since I have another one coming up where I'm like, so this is what I looked like before. Then I had all this craziness go on in my life. And now I'm going to do another one. And I can't wait to, like, compare them side by side. Because not only have, like, I mean, I physically changed. In the first one, I had blonde hair, not as many yeah. tattoos. I was right. a lot mm-hmm. skinnier. I mean, I weighed 30 less pounds than what I weigh now. Not that I'm upset, but it's like I it's physically look different. different. Yeah. And so now I'm excited to, like, do this one. But I still like to go back and appreciate, this is who I was. Like, this is what I did. This is what, and I tie it to, like, a lot of memories, too. Because that was a fun time in my life. We were working at the tavern, living our best life. Like, it was good. It was. So, and the shoot was a lot of fun. Like, I always think about, like, Christina's dang bagel joke. Oh, (laughs) the infamous bagel joke. The infamous bagel joke. That bagel joke is still said to this day, believe it or not. It is a staple in our photo shoot. It is. It is. Good. Yeah, and I think that, you know, one of the things that we tell our clients, too, who come do a photo shoot is that, you know, I always say, I always joke, you're going to be looking at these pictures in 30, 40 years and being like, look how good grandma looked, you know? Mm-hmm. I say that on, like, all my phone calls, but it's so true that, you know, even, even like, now, you know, looking back just a couple years, mm-hmm. like, there's a, that was a different breed. You're yeah. a different breed now, you know? Yeah. And, you know, kind of like memory lane, thinking about like who you are, what kind of person you are back then, and how much you've changed. And um, I think it is really, really cool. And I think it's important to have too, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's empowering. It is. It yeah. is very empowering to like see me in a different, because I don't always see myself like that. Yeah. I mean, it's like one thing to see it in an album and you're like, dang, who's that? Like, yeah. she looks good. And then there's like some days you wake up and you're like, I'm just going to, like, wear a hoodie on my Mm -hmm. face. Like, I'm going to go back to bed. And so, one, I really, like, I'll have to send you a picture of how my medals are set up with my vanity. But I have, like, the big medal, a tiny medal, and then the vanity. Mm -hmm. And so it's like I look at it every day. Every single day I see it, and I love it so much. And then I wake up in the morning, and there's, like, um, all the different little medals. And I'm like, oh, I love it. Like, I just love seeing it. Yeah, It's definitely a confidence booster even though they're two years old. Like, it's still, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. still, I love it. That I've, makes me happy. Yeah. I've talked to a couple people about it. Because, um, like, it's, I think it's, it's, sometimes I think it's hard for people to take advice from me because they're like, well, it's your husband. He mm-hmm. can take pictures of you anytime. I'm like, yeah, not really. He's a very busy man. <laughs> but, like, I've had what, like, three boudoir-specific shoots done. And in all three of them, I was a different weight. I looked totally different. And I never, ever look back on, like, my heavier pictures and be like, dang, I was was heavy. Like, I look back on them and, like, dang, I felt so good Mm -hmm. then. And, like, look at those curves. And, like, sometimes I'll look at my, my... my now pictures and I'm like I wish I had those curves now (laughs) but it's okay because this Christina does all these things and this Christina did all those things and so it is really cool to like Mm -hmm. watch your life change in like snapshots yeah that was cool well if you go through like your Mm -hmm. Facebook memories and you look at pictures of like where you were at certain times especially when you have a lot of like fluctuation with like um you know your physical appearance 
generally those Facebook pictures are not really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, even like when you're posing at the beach, like for a family picture, it's usually not oh, a good yeah. angle. The lighting's really bad. Yeah. Um, you know, the posing, you're just trying to, you know, just trying to fake it so you make it to make it look good. But, um, you know, you could take those pictures and then look wildly drastically different, you know, in a photo shoot the very next day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially if it's, you're in a time where, um, you are kind of like down on yourself and you're not where you want to be, um, you know, and you're, you're not looking forward to seeing those Facebook pictures again later yeah. on in a couple years. Um, I think that is like such a great time to get a photo shoot done. Um, whether it's boudoir or whatever, just because you get the lighting, you get the mm -hmm. angles, you get the different camera lenses mm -hmm. and the hair and makeup and everything. And it's like, yeah, this was like a, you know, maybe a tougher time in my life, or maybe I just I had, was busier on other things or whatever, but look how still it's strong and confident and oh, gorgeous. Yeah. I still look back then. And, um, you know, and who really wants to be looking through pictures and have like this huge gap of your life? Mm -hmm. Like that's, you know, that you're not gonna, you're not gonna want, you're not gonna want that, you know, mm -hmm. you're not gonna, it's not gonna feel good knowing that there is a huge chunk of your life that you just didn't like about yourself too. Yeah. And so, and I think it too, it's also a slippery slope to kind of fall into that. Well, I'm not, I'm not good enough yet. I'm not, I'm not ready. I, I still have more work to do mm -hmm. until I deserve to do a photo shoot or something like that. But yeah, I've definitely heard that. I've definitely heard people, oh, I want to do a photo shoot, but I got to lose weight. Well, I understand. You do want to look your best, but at the same time, it's like, but do you need to lose you the weight? Need like, to. Yeah. you look great. How, just, just try it. Just try yeah. it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love how you look. Like, I mean, I don't. I've never seen an unflattering picture that you've taken of anyone. To be honest, oh, right? Thanks. They're all beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> so, every single person is beautiful. I've Who never seen in. a picture where I'm yeah. like. Yikes. Girl, what are, like, I mean, they all look good. Everybody yeah. looks good, no matter your size, no matter what your hair looks like, no matter, I mean, everybody looks good. Yeah. I love it. And good I always things. tell people, I'm like, you will never be the same as you are right now. Mm -hmm. Like, in a year, you'll be like, dang it, remember last year when I thought I was ugly and I wasn't? I'm, that was only a year ago. Like, mm -hmm. just celebrate yourself. Just do it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I don't want to, like I said, I just want to do like, what, 32 minutes. So that's, that's like pretty easy, I feel like. If we could just have more people like Brie come through the studio, it'd be a dream job. We could change her hair and makeup. <laughs> Did you bring a set, different set of clothes, by any chance? And we'll just do it all over Here, again. Here, I'm going to give yeah, you Christina's yeah, glasses. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can figure it out. We can cool. make it work. Um, but yeah, no, but thank you so much um, for doing this. I really do appreciate yeah, it because I know it's been two years and we're still getting you to do <laughs> testimonials and stuff no, for I us. No, I love but... it. I mean, I really love what you guys do, to be completely honest. And I tell people all the time because people are like, do I really want to, like get in front of somebody in laundry and I'm like, look, Mark and Christina are amazing people. Like, you're going to love it. Like, there was no one that you would rather be in lingerie in front of. No, there really isn't. They are the like, people. Exactly. And that's what I tell people all the time because they're like, do I really want some man taking my pictures? And I'm like, well, it's not just Mark, first of all. It's his wife, too. But, like, you have to meet them to understand. Like, it's not, it's not creepy in any way. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure. It's fun. It's easygoing. It's a really good atmosphere. You just got to do it. Like Nike said, just do it. Just do it. Just do, do it. it. <laughs> but don't take that one because they that one you. Definitely <laughs> Between the sheets, just do it. <laughs> Double trouble. Lawsuit, lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sorry guys, can't help you here. Uh, good luck. I'll see you in September. <laughs> Bree said it was okay. Bree said it was fine. <laughs> Our lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Said it first.